gosh, so many great memories of crazy pipe showdowns. We mentioned uh, Jamie O'Brien, uh, Sonny Garcia, you know, a couple of decades ago. Seeing two surfers representing Hawaii again is just incredible at pipe. Oh, man, I love this. This is like you never see John put in that much, like, um, oh, let's see here. Baron up and right. Baron's going to get the first wave. Locks in, trying to burn off some speed. He'll get puffed out. There's a make. He's been flawless with his approach throughout finals day. Yeah, we're going to have a look at right now. That was actually a very critical takeoff. But look how comfortable he is under those circumstances. Um, stalling as the barrel, as the wave was going through right there. As you see, he sits on, on that board and just slow himself down. But he was a shorter barrel. Got rewarded a 6.0, which is a great start of the heat. But on the other hand, we're probably going to see it coming up pretty shortly. This hasn't been tested yet, but here's John stretched out, wave it back door. Two of the best out here, pipe it back door, two successful makes to kick things off. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. And you see John's not giving him an inch right there in the beginning with no priority. And you don't see John doing that. So that uh, just show how much of a trap um, Baron actually is out here on the back door, as you see right here. Just pretty similar job as far as being underneath. But John had a little bit more length. He had one or two pumps. And on the other hand, Baron was slowing himself down. So the judges like seeing you coming from behind and doing those pumps. And right there, going through the fumble, as you see it, just barely touched him. It wasn't that big of a fumble, but just on the sweet spot, just deep enough to um, get rewarded a great score right there, Joe. So well positioned at back door. John John Florence probably can't even count how many times he's done this in his lifetime. Baron's been crafty because he knows the reef better than most of his opponents, but these guys are matched basically in every discipline. With priority, John pulls in at pipeline and he'll get puffed out. There's that casual look towards his friends and family. Well, this is the decision for John to go first. All right, that's what I mentioned. They, he wasn't deep enough on the takeoff right there, but because he's so good at slowing himself down in those waves, he was able to actually um, drag and wipe all the speed he had and actually get a very good barrel out of that but then on the other side you see um, Baron already scratching battling deeper but see right here front angle as much as that was incredible it wasn't as deep as Baron's wave um, and yeah I have no doubt that Baron's gonna have a better score than John on that on that exchange but Baron's going the same direction knifing it super deep Mamiya comes out And that's exactly what I'm telling. Like, what did he do wrong? He blocked um, Baron on that first wave, um, but he was a little bit on the shoulder in that second wave, just kind of doubling up. And the skills that Baron has to actually pull that drop off and get that speed off the off the bottom. Baron pushed him deep, and then Mobile locked into this one. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. He was so late. Are you kidding me? How did he stick that drop? And not just that. Usually, 99% of the people just get stuck on the bottom. And he was able to just drive through those sections like it was a two-foot wave. That was impressive. Check this out. There's a lump right there. He airdropped and straight as soon as he hit the bottom, he did that big pump down the line and somehow managed to, yeah, do what he did. It was, and, it was impressive. And he would not be celebrating like that unless he had a very special feeling. Check out this number, a perfect 10 for Baron Mamiya at Pipeline to take the lead over John John Florence. Part of the reef and he took the most of it and John is scratching for a wave right now. John's looking to answer, slides in beautifully, running for an exit and back door. And that one is going to knock him down. But what a great read, jump start on that first section. Out in front of this one, looks like John's inspired to maybe pick up this wave under Baron's watch. Pulls up and goes down. A rare fall from Florence. And now Baron is going to go for this wave at Pipeline. Puts his head down and pulls in up and under. It looks like he will get clipped. Back to back falls from John and Baron with time winding down. Yeah, definitely. I don't think he, he wanted to picture any other way, like have a final with John in perfect conditions. and. Yeah, if it plays out the way, let's see what John's saying right now. Pulling it up and under, super deep is John Florence, trying to survive the foam ball. And that's a wipeout for John, but you could tell what he was thinking there. 
Think about the heat check for this final with 2.15 to go. Before we get there, it looks like John's going to try something at back door. A couple of big driving pumps. He's still got some room. Can he pull this off? Did so much incredible work, and the end section just didn't have an opening. The 24-year-old from the North Shore of Oahu is now going to let John go. 20 seconds, look at pipeline on this one. JJF pulls up and under, trying to pull off a miracle, and that thing just runs away. Now down to 15 seconds. John left chasing an 801. Baron Mamiya defeats John John Florence in the final of the Lexus Pipe Pro presented by Yeti. A 10 point ride along the way with a six. John with an eight and a seven, three, three.